Please listen carefully. interesting now the uh, Texas Canyon that wasn't too bad the uh, Palo Duro in Texas I thought was uh, pretty rough on me that 10% grade but no the San Angustan Pass tops them all had to put the uh, transmission in second gear just to get the uh, RPMs up just to get up that hill and then and at the top of the hill I didn't need cruise well I didn't need anything really I could uh, well actually I did need something I needed brakes I could have uh, well I was actually uh, coasting all the way down that long long hill and having to use my brakes a couple of times pretty hard a couple times too I was uh, well this thing was going fast and as for Highway 70 my goodness I I think I understand why I didn't meet any semi trucks on that road I suppose in a good way I wasn't being blown off the road by them but uh, yeah the uh, semi trucks take a different route, probably down to uh, El Paso. But uh, there's one thing about uh, Interstate Highway or Highway 70, not Interstate. If you want to be, if you want to experience the open road and feel like you're the only one on the planet, that's uh, from uh, Las Cruces to. Alamogordo there's there's really nothing there I can understand why the uh, government has that area with the white sands and all there were several times where I was I looked around and I was the only vehicle within sight and it's a large flat land so. But still, here I am in uh, El Magordo, New Mexico, finally. It's a nice little town here. Military town, probably. But they've uh, got something 
adequate here that uh, I need. Tucked away right next to the County Extension Service Building and the, uh, the ticket office. A difficult to access dump station with water which comes in handy since there's really nothing else in this area. Well, I really shouldn't say there is nothing else. Uh, the Welcome Center down the street has got uh, a dump station. I can pull in from either side. They've got uh, rinse water. I'm not sure if they've got drinking water or not. But, but reports say it's just uh, for flushing. Now, Alamogordo does have a Walmart that I could stay at, but uh, I think I'm going to move on. I've got a, uh, well, I don't really have a schedule to keep, but I have kind of a commitment, I guess, to myself and my schedule. But, uh, I guess, <laughs> well, I want to get into Texas. Or the, or the closest uh, city park that has water and electricity. I'm, uh, I've been boondocking for a while now, and I think it's time that I slow down and relax and have a few creature comforts. <laughs> Here I am in Ruidosa Downs, New Mexico. I think the mountains are going to be ending soon. And I'll be getting back down to the uh, plains. Well, Highway 70 is scenic. That's uh, a guarantee. The uh, Soaring mountains and the plunging valleys. Yeah. If you've got a vehicle that can handle the uh, hills and valleys, go for it. You, you can't uh, imagine what this 
place really looks like unless you're actually here as far as the motorhome especially an old motorhome like mine well we'll see I got some time to decide whether I want to uh, add this route or not though I think I understand why uh, most of the trucks take Interstate 10. In fact, uh, I didn't see one semi truck on uh, Highway 10 all the way here. Delivery trucks, yes. But uh, I'll spend the night here, and uh, and then uh, I think I've got a couple of other places that I'm going to be stopping at that I haven't stopped at before. But uh, from here on out, it's mostly just the places I've already shown. And uh, unless there's something drastically different, I probably won't make a video of those places. So I think maybe this will be the... Uh, end of the video for this uh, series. Well, I did an elevation check here in Ruaduso Downs, and uh, it's uh, 6,440 feet above sea level. I think I went up in elevation. Oh, boy. I hope the uh, trip down isn't going to be too bad. <laughs>